Um, Donovan neglected to tell you, tell you all those things, but he neglected to tell you that he is the chairman of the Jamaica Fashion and Apparel Cluster. Um, of course, this cluster is, is everything to do with fashion in Jamaica. It encompasses the stylists, the fabric suppliers, you know, the designers, and a whole gamut of other people. He's also the owner of Ether Lane, and I'm wearing a skirt compliments of Ether Lane, thankfully. <coughs> Okay, so Patwa Apparel is an innovator in the fashion world, engaged in the design, manufacture, and di distribution of clothing for individuals wanting to associate with Brand Jamaica. The focus is centered around casual wear with the unique concept of using the Jamaican Patwa along with its associated English translation. We target those who are looking for an easy, carefree clothing experience that is bright and colorful, representative of their attitude to life. Essentially, it represents a trendy lifestyle for the hot, hip, and happening. Additionally, the Jamaican diaspora and tourists looking to bond with the culture and the Jamaican vibe are major segments of our markets. At Pato, we're very cognizant of the fact that Jamaica is not just about the stereotypical sun, sea, and sand. Among the several other interesting aspects of the Jamaican culture, including the food, music, sports, and the arts, is a language. The brand is deeply rooted in the culture of the Jamaican society. So at Patwa, we understand that it is more profound when somebody says, no bother me, as opposed to leave me alone. I especially like to wear this expression going through immigration. Certainly, one cannot underestimate the power of this amazing language arising from our historical heritage. It's a melting pot of languages, a little bit of African, English, and Spanish to create this powerful communicating tool. How did we begin? It was a bright Tuesday morning of August 7, 2007, somewhere between 6.30 and 8.30 a.m. The idea to start a clothing line came about. I remember the date like it was yesterday because I was home on sick leave and as I laid in bed and watched my favorite morning program, a Eureka moment was had. I say Eureka because from my early teens I knew without a shadow of a doubt that I would operate a business of my own and though I agonized over it for some time, I just never knew what it would be. So back to the morning of August 7, I jumped out of bed, forgetting that the idea was for me to be resting, and began calling former colleagues. These persons would become important in designing my logo, supplying me with the shirts, and so on. I began calling on persons close to me to give me ideas for the name of the line. I had a few criteria. It shouldn't be offensive to anyone. It should readily resonate with my target market, and it should represent and promote brand Jamaica. Even upon returning to work the following week, I went around with a survey sheet asking for suggestions for a name. Still nothing impressed me. Then finally, in a few days, I had an aha moment. I thought, why not call it what it represents? That is, patwa, only it wouldn't be spelled in the way it should, but to play on, on the spelling and, you know, call it what, how it is pronounced. The business was registered in September 2007, and I ran this alone on a part-time basis until March 2011. After much praying, deliberation, and agonizing, I quit my day job to pursue my passion. Why am I motivated to do business? My need to achieve and resultant drive arose from the very humble beginnings I have, I've had growing up. Life experiences have been my motivating forces, as I've always known, a sweet, refreshing glass of lemonade is made from a sour lemon. It is my hope that I will be able to motivate others to believe in themselves, knowing with God all things are possible. Only believe. So now you are more aware of the brand. It is time for you to go and spread the word, so that together we will invest in Jamaica, buy Jamaican in 2012 and beyond. And before I take my leave, I must give credit to Keisha Dixon for this line because I saw, it, I saw her posted it on her BBM one day and I decided I'm going to use it. But I'm giving her credit publicly because she's an intellectual property lawyer and I don't want any, you know, you have the right to remain silent kind of a thing. So 
I'm declaring, okay? And also, I really want to thank, along the way, there have been a lot of persons who have supported me. Fundamentally, I want, without sounding like, you know, it's a cliche or anything, I really want to give God thanks for this moment. Fundamentally, I mean, God is my all, and I put him first in everything that I do. Um, I also, you know, there are people along the way who have helped me. My friends, I mean, my husband, sometimes he says, I walk around with a heavy heart when things aren't going my way, so he's like, you know, in the background always helping. Um, there has been like the JBDC, the Jamaica Fashion and Apparel Cluster, the JAMPRO, the Jamaica Intellectual Property Office, and so on. Um, friends along the way, you know, Kamo has always been helpful to me. I'm not giving a vote of thanks, but let me just quickly say, Kamo has been helpful in providing models and so on, but I'll be giving credits at the end to, you know, all those who have input in this afternoon. So now we will be heading to the store to officially open.